This is a video for Science 7, and we're looking at heat transfer. In this case, heat transfer by conduction. So what I have here, I have a candle for my heat source. I've taken a copper wire and used candle wax to stick some paper clips on. So as the heat travels along the copper wire, it's going to melt the wax and drop the paper clips so we can see how heat conducts along our copper wire. Now, I won't make you wait in suspense, but that last paper clip just hangs on forever. Why do you think it hangs on forever? Why isn't it melting and falling off like the rest? So, let's look at what's happening on the particle level of things. Um, this, these green circles would represent the particles in our copper wire and we have some heat being produced by our candle flame. We have chemical energy, we have combustion, and heat is being radiated outwards. And we know that when particles get more energy, they vibrate faster. And when they vibrate enough, they can bump into the next set of particles and pass their energy along by bumping into each other. And that's what heat transfer by conduction is. It's when particles vibrate and collide and pass on their energy by contact. Okay, this happens best in solids and especially things like metals. We can also pass on energy to liquids and gases, but it's much more efficient with the solids because everything's kind of locked into place. 